Eagle Air Force Staff Sergeant Caitlin Jones hanging out with uh, two of my favorite guys from Camp Humphreys, Jared and Mr. Johnson, and talking about all the great things that are going on over there on post. And Jared mainly is going to focus on the youth center stuff because with the summer coming up, all the kids are getting out of school. They're going to have a lot of time on their hands. Oh, yes. And we're very excited. June 12th is the last day of school. So I know uh, myself is excited. I know the youth are even more excited than I am about that. So oh, we're yeah. looking forward to it. They're definitely counting down do you guys have like a big celebration a big party that you're going to have for um the last day of school we absolutely do and it's going to happen on the last day of school june 12th um we're going to do a little cookout right at the teen center at building 427 um, we're going to start at about 4 o'clock, which is right about the time our bus um, comes from the high school, drops the kids off at the teen center. Perfect. And we'll have hot dogs, hamburgers on the grill ready to go. We're going to have lots of games and stuff going on outside, maybe some football, some sports activities going on. And just an opportunity to celebrate the last day of school, relax, and get a free meal out of the deal. Absolutely. Um, so, again, that's going to be June 12th at Building 427 at 4 p.m. And is that, what age group are we looking at for that? Um, it's open to anybody in eight, grades 6 through 12 who Perfect. are registered with the Camp Humphreys Youth Center. Very cool. So you guys um, kind of celebrate the last day of school with this big summer cookout extravaganza. And then the next day, you're officially kicking off a summer break. Yes, we have lots of programs coming up scheduled for the summertime, but we're going to kick it off with a party on Friday, June 13th. Um, that's a teacher work day, so there's no students. So Nice. <laughs> they got the whole day to themselves. And we're going to try to take advantage of uh, a lot of the partners and things that we can do on Camp Humphrey. So we're going to get out of the building. Um, we're going to meet at Building 427 on Friday, June 13th at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, and we have scheduled laser tag for them at the outdoor Whoa. rec. We're going to head over to the Splish and Splash water park after that. Very and nice. then we'll bring them back to Building 427 and we'll do a pizza dinner and put a movie on at the Teen Center. That so no no thinking. All they have to do is show up at Building 427 at 2 o'clock and we're going to take them all across post and do all the fun activities we can in one day. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure I want to just like skip work and go play laser tag and eat pizza. I, I can't think of anything better yeah. um, to start summer break with. It's not bad for me. I don't have a bad job. I'll tell you that much. I'm I get to play some you. laser tag and go to the water park also. So it's going to be a good day. I I think we should switch Jared you can just come <laughs> DJ for a week and I'll come do your job because beginning the week after that on June 16th and going all summer long you guys are doing like daily activities around the post yeah we're trying to schedule uh, a routine every day of the week we're gonna have a different activity going on taking advantage again of all the things um, that are available at Camp Humphreys um, you get the kids out and about out of the youth center away from the video games yeah. enjoy the enjoy the sunlight and, and have a good time um, and we're gonna start it off on uh, Mondays we're we're going to call it Mini Golf Mondays. Perfect. So we're going to head over to the Mini Golf Course, um, and we're going to meet at the Youth Center at 2 p.m. every Monday. starts at June 16th. Um, we'll take the kids, chaperone them onto the shuttle bus over to the uh, Mini Golf Course, get everything, uh, equipment for them. They don't need to pay anything, just have to show up again 2 p.m every Monday, and we're going to go off uh, mini golf in the, on Mondays. Very cool. And then uh, coming up on Tuesdays, you're going to have Disc Golf Tuesdays. Yeah, we're going to keep the golf thing yeah. going <laughs> for the beginning of the week. Um, we got a disc golf course uh, right near the main gate on um, the, uh, the park. Um, and again, we're going to meet at the Youth Center at 2 p.m., take a shuttle bus over to that area. We'll have all the Frisbees, all the discs out there for them. Um, I know a lot of them probably have never played before, and I haven't played either till maybe I was well into college. And I wish I would have started earlier because yeah. it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. I was amazed at how much fun that can be. You know, golf, especially when you're younger, you think, oh, it's a boring yeah. old. But man, going out there and throwing <laughs> a Frisbee is so much more fun and, and uh, a little more fast-paced than walking up and down the golf course. So I think if you've never tried it, um, come on out on Tuesdays, 2 p.m. at Building 427 and give it a shot. I really think uh, you'll enjoy it. And you guys are um, taking advantage of other places on post, especially Splish and Splash. It's going to be opening up here this weekend, and you guys are going to be doing a Splish and Splash every Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, that's the, the team's uh, favorite one. Uh, yes. We did a lot of it last summer. Uh, it was my first summer here, and that was the most popular one. So we're going to go every Wednesday, and we will meet at 1.30 at mm -hmm. Building 427 every Wednesday. And again, we'll get take advantage of the post bus, free shuttle bus, take it over to Splish and Splash. 
um, and we'll get them signed up and pay for their admission into the park, and we'll spend the day about 2 to 5 every Wednesday um, doing swimming, doing water slides, um, just having a good time at Splish and Splash. So that's a real popular one. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves the Splish and Splash over there. And then on Thursdays, um, doing activities for maybe the artsy teens, doing the art center. Yeah, we're trying to keep a variety of everything yeah. going, you know, for them. Um, and we're going to take advantage of the Community Activity Center Arts and Crafts area. Um, we have it reserved every Thursday. Um, we're going to meet at the Youth Center, Building 427, at 3.15 p.m. every Thursday. And we'll just, it's a quick two-minute walk over to the to the Community Activity Center. Oh, that's nice. And we're going to have a different project scheduled for them every Thursday. And again, there's no pre-registration for that. They just need to come to the Youth Center and, you know, ready to do some art. We'll walk on over there and they take advantage of the a lot of better supplies and much bigger area um, and more professionals over there that can work with them than we can in our small building. So if you're into the arts and crafts or even if you just want to give it a try, you're more than welcome. Um, every Thursday, meet at the Youth Center, Building 427 at 350. Perfect. And uh, tell me about uh, the big Friday activity, the Youth Night Out Fridays. Youth Night Out Fridays. That's something we started last summer that was pretty popular. We try to do um, something different every week, get them off post mm. uh, or on post. It really doesn't matter. We're going right. to start out with uh, post movie night. We have a, the post movie theaters open at Camp Humphrey, so we're going to try to do that on Friday, June 20th. Again, the schedule is not out yet, so that's dependent on what the rating of the movie is. Yes. Um, if not, we always have backup plans, so no worries. We'll get that information out there. Um, but that'll be Friday, June 20th. And then Friday, June 27th, we're going to take them out over to AK Plaza. Oh, cool. And again, depending on the movie schedule, we can see if we can catch a movie. But if not, there's so much we can do out there. Oh, shopping, yeah. Um, the Disco Pang Pang ride, the kids really love that. So we're going to do that on Friday, June 27th. Just a different variety of things to go out and do every kind of Friday evening. And as far as like the sign-up goes for these kinds of activities, is there any sign-up that we um, have to worry about with the parents? Or is it just kind of a show-up and have have fun kind of thing. Everything is just show up and have fun as long as they're registered um, with the Youth Center and they can contact Parent Central at 753-3413, that's building 570, uh, to get registered. Um, anything off post such as AK Plaza will need a special permission slip. Absolutely. So we'll talk about a little bit more how to get registered and take advantage of all the amazing things going on with the Camp Humphrey CYSS. Stay tuned. Hanging out with Jared and Mr. Johnson from Camp Humphreys. Jared's sharing with us all the great things they have planned for summer with the Camp Humphreys CYSS program. And, you know, I the more we talk about all these amazing activities, the more I just want to, like, go back and be a kid so I can come hang out with you guys because it sounds amazing, all the good stuff you guys have planned for the summer. And one of those amazing things that I've only done once but it was absolutely incredible, is zip lining. I agree with you. I've only done it one time also, and it was pretty amazing. And, uh, yeah, we're taking the kids on Tuesday, June 17th. Um, so that's the date of our zip lining. We were originally going to go at the end of May, um, but we rescheduled for Tuesday, June 17th. Um, it's going to better accommodate, I think, more um, youth to get involved. There's no school. Absolutely. Um, so it's something to do on a Tuesday afternoon. Uh, we'll meet at the Youth Center at 930 in the morning, um, and we'll be back by 5 in the afternoon. It's a $15 registration fee, um, and also a parent permission slip is required on top of their normal registration. Um, and the registration deadline will be June 12th. And okay. again, that's a $15 registration fee, and the deadline will be June 12th. Um, and the $15 covers everything, transportation, um, the zip line equipment, the safety brief, um, lunch. We bring a brown bag lunch. Nice. Um, just tell the youth they may want to bring a few dollars, a Korean won, um, to buy a snack. Or they have a little souvenir shop at the zip line as well. Um, but we'll take care of all the expenses. And that trip's on Tuesday, June 17th. Very cool. A way to get out and uh, do something different and kind of extreme and just awesome while you're here in Korea. That's all going on. Tuesday, June 17th. And another thing that is coming up at the end of June um, is the Teen Summer Jam. Now, this happens not in conjunction with, but it happens right after the Boss Beach Blast. So after all the kids, like, uh, kids, after all the soldiers and, and guys that go up there and have fun with the Boss Beach Blast, the um, outdoor rec and all the cool activities that they uh, have over there, they kind of just leave that stuff on the beach and then your teens get to go up there and have a couple of days of fun at the beach as well. Tell me about the Teen Summer Jam. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, right after the Boss Beach Blast, so the soldiers will leave uh, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, 
and the teenagers come and take over on Sunday evening. Um, so we'll be leaving on Sunday, June 22nd, and returning on Tuesday, June 24th. Um, and it's a great opportunity um, for the teens to, you know, utilize some great equipment from our outdoor rec facility to have a good time on the beach and also intermix and mingle with the other Army garrisons. Yeah. Um, as Young Sun will be there, um, Red Cloud Camp Casey and Daegu will all be there. Um, along with our Camp Humphreys youth. So we're looking at close to 100, 100 plus um, youth wow. that are going to be there for the weekend. Um, so it's a really big event. It's a really a great opportunity um, for teens to, to meet the other teens at the Army Garrison. Some of them, they know each other already, so right. they get to see them again. Exactly. Um, or you get to meet and make new friends. Absolutely. And that's the whole point of the weekend. We have lots of activities and events scheduled for them to allow them that opportunity. Um, we'll have a bonfire on the first night on Sunday night, kind of an icebreaker activity to bring everybody together. Um, Monday, we'll be our big day with all the beach activities yeah. we'll have some team building games we'll get in the water we'll do all the fun stuff um, and Monday night we'll also have a, a dance we have a DJ schedule oh, cool. forum absolutely so Monday night uh, we're down there they got a stage set up the DJ will be there uh, it's just going to be a big dance on the beach on Monday night just to have a good time um, and it's a great opportunity and um, a really good deal if, if I don't mind saying it's only $55 um, for the whole weekend and that includes everything all the meals, all the hotels, all the everything, all the recreation, everything you need, $55. And when are you looking um, to get parents to sign their teens up for um, the Teen Summer Jam? Well, we have the deadline set for June 18th, but I'd like to strongly encourage anybody <laughs> interested to sign up now because we do have limited spaces. Okay. Registration is open. They can register today. They can register right now um, at Building 570 or come get a permission slip from Building 427. Um, it's open registration right now. Perfect. So lots of spots available, but they do tend to fill up. So definitely get registered for the teen summer jam that's going to be going on at the end of June. Stay tuned. I'll have more with Jared and Mr. Johnson from Camp Humphreys coming up in just a few minutes. here on AFN Osa on the Eagle and I've got Jared from Camp Humphreys CYSS and Mr. Johnson from Camp Humphreys a public affairs office and they are hanging out with me and I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Johnson now because there are a couple of like pretty big post things that we want to touch on today and the first of um, the first one is this festival that's coming up tell me a little bit about Moto Moto I'm yeah, going to say it wrong That's correct it's called the Moto Festival and it's actually a festival that's developed and put together by the city of Pyeongtaek in partnership with some of the off-post private organizations. Um, last year, they invited Americans to participate as part of the Good Neighbor Program. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this year, they're actually opening up the participation, and they want to make it more of a cooperative effort than ever. And so it's a really cool opportunity for us to partner with our off-post communities uh, in a festive environment. Now, the focus is fairly arts and crafts, flea mart like stuff yeah and they also have food vendors and what's really cool about this year is they've opened up several of the uh, vending slots to uh, community members from Camp Humphreys whether it's a private organization or a home based business so that they can go out there and and uh, share and sell their wa their wares private organizations can do some fundraising selling traditional American food absolutely and so it's it's a really neat event um, it, it, it kicks off on the 31st of May okay at 1 p.m. and they go until 6 p.m. Um, and so if anyone's interested in wanting to get a booth out there, let's say you're, you're a crafty kind of person and you mm -hmm. have some crafts that you want to sell or you just want to uh, have a, a flea market booth or food, um, you just need to call the USO at 753-6281 and they can link you up with the, uh, I think there's a form you have to fill out to apply for it. Uh, but it's a good, good kind of a win-win for, for both our on-post and off-post communities. Absolutely. A little bit of a coordination effort. But when you said, like, they're doing food, the first thing I thought about is, like, you know, when we were at the Camp Humphrey's Extravaganza, they were doing, like, fried Twinkies and all that stuff. And right. I can see that being pretty successful. So if you want to um, raise money, like you said, for your private organization or get out there and sell some of your crafts, the USO is are the people to get in contact with. And the festival is on May 31st, correct? That, that's correct. And, and I will tell you, we have a really cool opportunity for someone who's interested in public affairs and public relations or has an education or a, a background in it. Um, we're trying to find someone that would be willing to take on an unpaid internship to lead up the, the PR and public relations piece of, of the Motto Festival. Oh, cool. They'll work closely with the PR professionals in our office 
It's a volunteer opportunity, but it's a real opportunity to keep your skills honed on the la- using the latest and greatest uh, public affairs equipment at, or build a resume because, as you know, our office has a lot of really cool equipment and some really talented people that that, that intern could um, – partner up with and, and develop their skills. So if pe- anyone wants to become an unpaid intern for that, they should just give me a call at 754-8598. Very cool. And yeah, they do have a lot of cool toys to play with. There's flying GoPros and all sorts of shenanigans that they have over there. I'm I'm actually thinking about maybe taking the internship. Would you take yeah. me? <laughs> yes, we absolutely would. And I will tell you what's really neat about this in- internship is it's working in a multicultural international environment. Very few people have an opportunity to uh, to serve in a, either a six month or a twelve month internship where they can add that to their resume. Absolutely. And you know, a lot of people in our career field they got their job starting as a volunteer or an intern, and that's how I actually got my foot in the door working really? for the army. Yeah. So it's a great opportunity. Very cool, and a way to keep your skills sharp. And the other thing that we want to touch on too is something that is brand new to Camp Humphreys, and this is the Camp Humphreys Android app. That's right, and, and it's not just an Android app, although that's how we that's the, the element that we've completed so far. Right. But we fielded a, uh, a garrison, kind of one-stop shop for news, information, key telephone numbers, and so on, a one-stop shop app that you can easily download from Google Play. You just go to Google Play, search keywords Camp Humphreys, and you can download that app, and it puts the entire Camp Humphreys uh, community at your fingertips. One thing I really like about it, for example, is it has those key numbers Mm -hmm. uh, with just click to dial features built into it. So if you want to make an appointment at the clinic, you just click that button. If you need to call a taxi, you click that button. Um, If if you need to uh, see what the latest weather is, road conditions, uh, yellow dust conditions and so on, all of that, that is integrated into this app. And of course, it's a great way to stay in touch with us via social media because it, it integrates in all of our social media sites into one one location. Absolutely. And that social media comes in handy so much like when we were talking about the cancellations due to the ferry tragedy. I mean, the social media aspect of it really is getting that news out instantly. So it's great to have that all at your fingertips. Um, I'm going to ask you probably the question that everybody else is asking. What if we don't have a Google Play um, uh, device that we can download. Is there an Apple version of the app in the works? There is an Apple version in the work that's act, that, that's actually complete, the Apple version. Uh, we're just waiting for the Apple Store to approve it. Okay. You know, with all of these apps, you have to submit it. Um, so as soon as that one's approved, we're going to uh, post links to it on our Facebook page and website and so on. But that's coming as well. I actually have an iPhone, so I'm looking forward to that <laughs> one hitting the street as soon as possible. Absolutely. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And as soon as um, the Apple version hits, we will let you know. And definitely if you have um, a, an Android Google device, you need to hit up your Google store and download the Camp Humphreys Garrison informational app. Definitely has a lot of great stuff at your fingertips. Stay tuned. We're going to wrap up here with Jared and Mr. Johnson right after this. going to wrap up here with Jared from CYSS and Mr. Johnson from the Camp Humphreys Public Affairs Office. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Jared, I know you're a busy guy, but it's like a fun busy. You get to go like zip lining and mini golf and splish and splash and... Yes, you will never, ever hear me complain about my job. Never. I love it. And we have so many other things going on, so check us out on our Facebook page, Humphrey CYSS Teen. And breaking news, we now have an Instagram page. Whoa! Brand new, maybe only a week old, Youth Center Humphreys. Oh, that so, is so cool. Yeah, go on to Instagram. We know the youth are using that a lot more on Facebook these days, so we're jumping on it. So maybe we're too late because now I'm older. Every time I get on these websites, they go old. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to give it a shout. We're on Instagram, Youth Center Humphreys. Uh, check us out today. Give us a follow. We're putting up information, photos, all the cool things that we do on Instagram for the Youth Center. Definitely check it out. And speaking of, like, the mobile situation, you know, look for the app for Camp Humphreys Garrison on the Google Store and beware that the Apple version is soon coming. And the the Motto Festival, wanted to touch on that just one more time. I'm going to say it wrong every time. You're looking at me like I mispronounced it, Mr. Johnson. I saw that. No, you nailed it. It's the (laughs) Motto Festival. You know, just a reminder, if anyone would like to volunteer to help set up at the festival or or have a booth where they could um, sell their arts and crafts um, or food items, they should just call the USO at 753 
1-800-285-6281. And of course, anyone that's interested in becoming a, an intern in our public affairs program to support that festival should call me directly at 754 754- Eight five nine eight. Sounds great. Thank you guys so much for making the trek all the way over here to Osan to hang out with me for the day. And that's going to do it for my show as well. Be sure to tune in bright and early, 6 a.m. tomorrow with Senior Airman Corey Schuler on your morning show. Have a great rest of your day.